this is a hot take, but like also like if there was a lot more neutral, there's a lot of situations where people and, uh, are like very aware of the game, but that's neither here nor yeah. there and because we of like Smash 4, the most ca requested character from the Smash 4 game too. Vote in ballot. Sora uh -huh. is here, finally having made it at the very end of Ultimate, fighting one of the first third-party characters from Sonic here uh -huh. on PS2. And this matchup just seems, at least on paper, kind of hard for Sora. But DDP is really making it work so far. You're honestly literally so right. And this is like really fun because Camax hasn't been here too often in a while. I would know I also haven't been here in a while, but that's not the point. Um, but I really feel like we can definitely see a bit of an even game still on the end of Camix and DTP. But this is looking, honestly, like I was saying, pretty even. Yep. Oh, wow. Ah. Trying to find that extension and, and off the top, but gonna get called out. That's an over-aggressive up smash. And I mean, the amount of end lag on that move, right? You can pretty much push anything in Sora's kit in response. Absolutely. And... We're seeing right now is this very nice off guard stage situation trying to kill DTP but not going out too well. And right now we're in a very neutral situation and DTP is not trying to die whatsoever. Getting 28% off the board, just a little bit of extra credit, but that jump is going to get stuffed out by that F Smash. Really good on Kamex's end. And I mean, this is wow. And especially with charge frames, right? That move is so scary because it just it comes out so fast, has such little lag. Like Sonic's F smash just is so much and it can be angled as well. Great loot loot to cancel out of that spin dash there to find his way back to stage, but not having an answer just for the disjoints from from DDP so far are all right, he's really been able to maintain a solid lead over this game, just clearly having the matchup knowledge on how to space out and punish Sonic's options. And not only that, we've been seeing really good uses of counter. There were so many good uses where we just saw counter getting punished, um, or not counter, but ooh, spin, oh. spin shot. And that was, speaking of oh. that spin dash, just barely missing. Un kind of an awkward situation where DTP was right at the peak of his jump as the spin dash release, so it went up mm -hmm. and he was falling, and so, Normally, if you're falling, it'll send a little bit lower, getting called out again by an up smash, though. And now, Comex on his last stock of game one, Jazzy. This is kind of scary. Honestly, they are looking a little bit not too scared, but this is definitely something that we need to be a little bit more um, wary of because if Camax isn't really too careful about how they're going to be able to take off this stock, they are going to be end up getting two stocks. So they definitely need to have some semblance of control in neutral and making sure that we're kind of just trying to have a little bit less of damage on the board. Yeah, but now at 135, right, this is very doable for Kamex, but he has to be able to get back to stage. They have to be able to keep their feet on the ground for more than a couple seconds. Playing great some defensive movement here under the platform, not allowing Sora to jump in at you. Ooh, ooh, because if he does, you're going to be able to catch that landing, just opting to start camping out, playing more defensive, but that side B has done so much for DDTP throughout this game on catching Kamex approach. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So... Right now, we're at a situation where DTP is at 156%, and that might almost kill, almost at 102%, taking off that stock. But this is really scary. This could have ended up in a really bad position, getting countered and dying at not this percent, just entirely yet, but getting hit by that upper, taking off that stock with a very nice you know, two stock just, on DTP's end. I'm just gonna say it, yeah. Jazzy. DTP paid 599 for that last stock. No, like, Those are the two DLC, Sora's most DLC uh -huh. moves. That's a, the counter, that's okay. not even a counter, it's an interrupt, right? Uh -huh. an interrupt, it, it, whether it's a move, you know, even a move that's like Wonder Wing, that's uncounterable, it interrupts the animation and counters it. Yeah. As well, that up air, one of the best, along with Corrin's, maybe the best up air in the game. It's so active, it kills. It, Look it at that covers face. a huge amount of space. He's having a blast. Yeah. No, absolutely. No, best I love that. Best friends forever. F is for friends who do stuff together. S is for Sora. Yay. 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 And speaking <laughs> of yay, we're getting right into game two. No changes here. We're right back to the same stage, same bat time, same bat channel, and DDV already looking for an edge guard, but Comet's not going to let him have it. Absolutely. And this is something that I feel like we need to be a little bit more careful of. I feel like Kamex needs to be a little bit more conscious of how he's actually getting back onto stage. There was a lot of situations where Kamex was just getting hit by counter, and that just means that you're doing the same things over again. I understand that this is a character that like is prioritizing, you know, um, spin dash, but 
is not going to help much when you're getting stuffed out and your main goal is to get back to center stage. And we're seeing a lot more reliance on spin dash early from Comex here. It was working out for a while, but DDD gets one adjustment and all of a sudden Comex goes right back to it without warning. He's just been kind of camping, charging spin dash, going in, crossing up, and DDB either has to commit to the counter or or kind of get hit, and if he does commit to the counter, then Comex is just going to mix him up in the next time. Absolutely, and honestly, this is definitely really good on Comex's end, getting that hit at 156%. And yeah. this is maybe we're starting to see a little bit more of adaption right now on Comex's end, but we cannot count out DTP because DTP is... DTP got something. And I don't know what DTP got, but 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 he got thought, they got thought. I mean, I think both these players got something. Like the adjustments we're seeing from Comex this game, hey, Sora hasn't been able to land, and it feels like every button he he pushes, Comex is able to whiff punish, utilizing that spin dash to its fullest extent, and finally finding some combos afterwards. As well as these space back airs have been absolutely impeccable from him. Absolutely, and that spin dash gonna get caught on that last hit of Thundaga, but. This is, again, a very scary situation for DTP because right now we're at 134% and Kamex has been able to, you know, very nicely been able to maintain that lead. But speaking as that, we do see that stock get lost at 130 yep. Yeah, that mech except was absolutely gorgeous from DTP, but he has to find his way back to stage. Gonna do so finally pulling out that counter, right? Saving it for the very last moment. And, and pulling out that old faithful from game one, it did so much work. We haven't seen so too much of it here in game two, and that's why Kamex ready for it now. Gonna find back to close out the stall. Absolutely. Now we are at a very precarious situation because this is definitely showing a lot of the you know adoption that Kamex has made, and I feel like Kamex isn't really getting hit too much of the same thing. But this is still a very doable situation for DTP. DTP has been able to get those consistent situations or consistent mix-ups going on. But, you know, we're still at a very even spot right now at 4% to 105%. And Amex is just playing the lead right now, honestly, at this point. Yeah, no, he absolutely is. And Sonic, the lead, is absolutely terrified. That's why DTP called in for some help from the friends above. and. Closes it out, brings it right back to even. Sonic now not able to control the pace of the game in the same way, and DDP already tacking on that percent after forcing Comex to adjust. Absolutely, and now this is even scary because Camex literally had the lead for almost the entire game, and now Camex at 65% and climbing, and now Camex is very close to dying because um, you know DTP can literally do one thing, and it will end DTP I mean, Camex right on the spot. Yeah. DTP found so much of those up smashes earlier, now trying to find the call out. We see again that counter coming back from the Amex finally adapting his way through the Thunder. And so far, DTP, even behind, hasn't been able to interact, but it's not going to matter. That up air is going to kill it. 95! Oh my god! 95! Scary! we? Tazi, I swear, that up air. That up air is not okay. It's not. It's not okay. It's not simply just die. Like, look at this. Look at this. No. Look at this. His DI was good. What is there too. to look at? His no. His DI was good. And he still died at 92. Uh uh. Uh You know what I'm saying? Simply death. And that's, now, that's, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. He whiffs up the air? first one, too. Yeah. He whiffs Boom. the first one. He just was mashing that option. Listen, it don't hit the first time. It's gonna hit the second time. What do you mean? Speak. Listen.